that you can join us today. My name is Miss Lizette and this is Lucky Super Junior Abraham Lincoln Jefferson Jr. Or in other words, Monkey. Now, before we start, let's prepare our hearts and pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for today. This morning we would like to uh, learn about how to build our character so we can honor you, Lord Jesus. Uh, please help us to understand your lessons and be able to apply it into our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen! Okay, now let's stand up and worship God! Easy to 
second week of our series entitled Back to Basics, where we are learning about character traits that please other people and bring glory to God. Is that right, Monkey? Yes! Now, Monkey, do you remember what we talked about last week? Hmm, let me think. Do you remember? Wait, 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 wait. It starts with an A. Honesty. Yes, that's right. Honesty. Now, today we will learn about this word. Respect. Respect means to see and treat others as important people. Respect mm -hmm. and respect. R E S P E C T. Wow, you spelled it so well. Thank you. How about we play a game? Let's make an acrostic poem. An acrostic poem? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll be right back. Where are you going? A few minutes later. I'm back! There you are, monkey. And what is this? There I crossed sticks. Yes! I win 10 points for monkey! Oh, no, 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 no. This is not what I meant. An acrostic poem is where we will use the letter from the word respect and create a short sentence starting with that letter. Now, each sentence must be an example of how we can show respect. You understand? Oh, I get it now. Okay, are you ready to play the game? Yes! Alright, let's start with the letter R. Hmm. I know. Respond with magic words like please and thank you. Now your turn, monkey. E. E. Oh. Early to appointments because I respect people's time. Oh, very good, monkey. Okay, now my turn. S. Mm. Say the name of the person because they are important to me. My turn! B. Pay attention to what people are saying and looking at them in the eyes. Your turn! Okay, okay, my turn. Now, what's the next letter? Oh, it's letter E. Hmm. Ah, excuse me should be said instead of just interrupting. The next letter is C. Courtesy by waiting my turn in line. Very good, you are so good, monkey. Now, the last letter, T. Hmm. Hmm. Tone should be gentle and friendly. Yay, great job, monkey. Now, kids, you can try this fun activity at home. So, we saw some examples of how we can show respect to people around us. But you know what, monkey? What? Do you know that the Bible has something to say about respecting others? Let's watch this video! People don't get me. Rather, they always want to get me. People think they can earn me, and so they try so hard to perform or do better than everybody else. It's especially hard for us kids when people or parents don't listen, have time for us, or pay attention to our ideas or concerns. And sometimes, when we do something wrong, we feel bad when we feel unheard, or our side of the story isn't heard and we get scolded and end up feeling so small. My name is Respect and I'm one of the back-to-basic virtues found in God's Word. Paul even writes to the Christians in Rome 
in Romans 12.10 to love one another deeply, honor others more than yourselves. Even when us kids don't get any respect, God wants us to give respect to others, to honor our parents by obeying them even when it's hard, to love our family and friends by paying attention to them and to care for them. Remember, Jesus Christ himself considered others, yes, you and me, as better than him and gave us the greatest honor and respect one could give by coming down from heaven to serve and save us. How have you shown respect to someone today? We often hear the word respect from our parents. In this country, we use certain words like pa or ibu. We never call older people by their first names. Now earlier I mentioned that respect means seeing and treating others as important people. Yes! Treating people the way you want to be treated. Very good. What else, monkey? You also want people to feel like they're being cared for. That's right. You treat them kindly. And who should we treat with respect? Monkey! Monkey? I mean others. Everybody! Everybody! Respect goes beyond just how you treat people. Respect must come from the heart. We need to see people as valuable because they are. Jesus died for them too after all, so they must be important. When we see other people as valuable, we must also treat them as such. The Bible goes one step further. It says in Romans 12 verse 10, Love one another deeply. Honor others more than yourselves. What a nice Bible verse, miss! It is! Our motivation for respecting others is actually love. We are able to love because God loved us first. He showed this love by sending Jesus to die for our sins. Jesus' death on the cross showed the depth of his love and enables us to love others as well. Now the Bible tells us to show our love by honoring others more than ourselves. Wow! Isn't that amazing? While the world tells us to treat others as equals, the Bible tells that we should honor others more than ourselves. As we show this sign of respect, we are displaying the radical love of God. And this brings others closer to Him. Now kids, let's remember this point. I will show the love of God by how I respect others. Most of the way we act shows how we respect others. Like what, miss? Hmm, like when we don't obey our parents. Is that a form of respect or disrespect? Monkey! Yes, mom? Please tidy up your toys. Okay, mom. A few minutes later. <gasps> Monkey! I asked you to tidy up your toys. Oh, no. Sorry. Don't do that. Oh, wait. I do that a lot. When we don't obey our parents, we're disrespecting them. Now, next example. When we show up late for appointments, is that a form of respect or disrespect? I'm sorry, but you are late for your appointments. I've already been another patient. Oh, oh no. Okay, sometimes I do that. When we always show up late for appointments, we are not respecting the time of the people we are meeting. Now, next example. Hmm, when we don't wait for our turn in line. Respect or disrespect? Hello, good afternoon. What would you like to order? 
Yes, uh, I would like to order one frappuccino, please. Coming right up. Oh, this line is so long. I just want to cut the line. Hey! 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 Excuse me! Excuse me! Excuse me! Excuse me! Excuse me! Excuse me! When we don't wait in line, we are making the people already waiting in line feel unimportant. Even the way we talk to people can show a lack of lack of respect, like being unkind or simply not making eye contact. And that's the story about little girl and her teddy bear. The end. Monkey. What was the story about? Uh, pizza and donuts? Huh? Okay! I admit that I did so many wrongs now. Showing a lack of respect makes people sad and dishonors God. That's why we will show that we love and value people by making them feel important through our respect. And as we do this, God is glorified. Like our power verse says, I will honor God with my character. I will honor God with my character. Yes, kids, let's say it together. I will honor God with my character. character. And also our power verse from 2 Corinthians 8 verse 21. We want to do what pleases the Lord and what people think is right. Now let's move to our power verse day!
Oh, back already. Miss, mm -hmm. today I learned that respect means valuing or honoring people more than yourself. That's right, monkey. The best example of this is Jesus. He valued us more than his life. Jesus willingly died on the cross in order to save us from our sins. Because of his sacrifice, we are given the honor of being reconciled to God. And we are able to live with him in heaven for eternity. So remember what the Bible says, kids. Love one another deeply. Honor others more than yourselves. So last question, monkey. How can you show respect to the people in your house? Surely, I will begin obeying my parents then not being rude to my brother. Frog. Sounds good, monkey. How about after you finish watching this video, kids, you take a minute and go to your mom or dad and say one thing that you appreciate about them. Then you give them a hug and a kiss and tell them that you love them. I'm glad that you learned something today, monkey. Did you? Now let's close with prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for valuing us more than your life and giving us the chance to be reconciled to God. Please help us to show this love to others by treating them with respect and honor. In your mighty name we pray and everybody says, Amen! Today we will make this words of respect. For this art and craft, we will need colored paper, scissors, glue, pen or marker. On the colored paper, draw and cut out flower shapes. You can ask a parent to print out flower templates to help you with the shapes. If you don't have colored paper, you can use white paper and colored pencils as well. words that you can use to show respect. For example, thank you, sorry, excuse me, and so on. And then it will look like this. Ta -da! Nice, right? <laughs> then draw and cut a flower pot out of colored paper. by showing respect. Then it will look like this. Ta nice garden, is it? We discussed today the various ways we can show respect. In this craft, we focus on words that can show people that we value them, honor them, 